If you're looking to start selling digital products online and you're looking for the best, cheapest platform that requires no complicated setup or no coding required, then stick around for this video. I'm gonna walk you step-by-step step through one of my new favorite platforms to use for digital products called Gumroad. So what is Gumroad? Well, it's a platform for you to sell any kind of digital product that you want, or even a physical product if you really wanted to. So Gumroad allows you to sell things like templates or digital downloads like Icon or Graphic Packs, online courses, it could be even coaching or consulting or even services. So anything that you want to sell online, you can do it through this platform called Gumroad. Now, the reason I love this platform is number one, you don't need to set up any kind of website. You just go straight into Gumroad. You can upload your product that you want to sell. You don't need any kind of website, a separate website. Everything can be done through Gumroad. And the second thing is there is no cost for you to get started, meaning you can follow along with this video today, step by step. You can sign up for your Gumroad account for free. You can upload your product and there's no charges. There's no fees until you actually sell a product. So you can set everything up today. You can walk through this video with me and start taking action and be up and selling your first product within a few hours if you really wanted to, if you had an audience. So I'm gonna jump into my computer here and I'm gonna just show you over the shoulder setting up an account and how you can get started selling digital products online today using Gumroad. So let's jump right in now. So here I am on the Gumroad sign up page. I actually already created my account a couple days ago, so I'm not gonna walk from the very beginning since I already have my account. Uh, but before we get started, I want to share, I already talked about why I love this platform. It's, it's easy to get started, it costs you nothing to get started, and everything that you need is in here, meaning you don't need a separate website if you just wanna sell digital products. Now the downside is if you're looking for a complicated solution, something that has full sales funnel functionality like upsells and downsells and cross sells and all this crazy fancy stuff, then this is not gonna be the best platform for you. But if you're just getting started and you're not doing six or multiple six figures yet in your business, then you really don't need all that complicated sales funnel stuff. So this is what this platform is the best for. If you're looking for a lean beginner way to get started that's low cost, that is low risk, and that you can have everything in one place, that is what Gumroad is gonna be best for. So let's go back to this page here. You can see here, the getting started, there's no monthly fee, unlimited products, real-time analytics, customer management, posts and workflows, SD, standard definition streaming. And you can see here, they take a charge off of every order that you make or every sell that you make. So 5% plus a charge fee of 3.5% and 30 cents. Now that means that yes, they do take a fee, they have to get paid somehow. But if you're just getting started, you can walk through this entire tutorial with me step-by-step, step, set up your account, upload as many products as you want and start selling by, you know, in a couple hours from now, if you really wanted to. So you can start selling and they only take a cut of whatever you sell. So if you don't sell, you don't have to pay a monthly fee like I do for something like Kajabi, which is $150 or so a month. So if you're just getting started, perfect platform for you. Now, if you are starting to get sales in, you wanna upgrade your account. You can see here, it's pretty inexpensive. $10 a month for less than a thousand customers. And you can remove the Gumroad branding. You can add your own CSS. You can use your own domain, unlimited posts and workflows, HD streaming, and they remove this 5% fee here on every transaction. So it's just 3.5% plus 30 cents per charge. And the best thing is also all the payments are directly within Gumroad. So there's no Stripe or PayPal that you need to attach. Everything is collected and paid out through Gumroad. So I think they pay out every Friday. Not quite sure since I just created my account, but this is great because everything's in one place. Everything is very easy. You don't need multiple different platforms to get started. Everything is, is, is in one central hub. So let's walk through creating a profile and then actually uploading your first product and looking at the different features that I'm gonna be using here. So I'm gonna start with showing you what a finished product looks like that's published on Gumroad. Now this is my product called the Super Fast Sales Email Challenge. Some of you might have purchased this or know what this is. And this is an email course that I have. And this is actually delivered through email, but I thought why not throw this up on Gumroad and see how this performs to my Twitter audience. I'm gonna start to, um, promoting this to my Twitter audience uh, organically. So let's walk through the different areas here and then we'll upload one from scratch. So you can see here, big header image. Gumroad doesn't create this for you. You have to create it yourself. I did this in Canva. And you can see here, sales page, right? So all the sales copy here. I just copied and pasted this from my main sales page. Okay, and you can add images here as well. Um, big headers and then regular text. 
So everything that you pretty much need, the basic functionality, everything you need is in here. And then also, I mentioned that there's no complicated sales funnels, but you can still create packages, which, which is kind of a substitute for upsells and cross sells. So you can see here, super fast sales email challenge, $29, and then I have a few different packages that you can select if you want the more premium offer. And then I have a, a bundle here for 247, which includes my super fast sequences course. So this kind of makes up for that upsell feature. They can, the customer can pick whatever package they want. And some customers are gonna pick this premium package directly on this page. And then when they click this, they're gonna check out for whatever product that they picked. And we'll walk through creating one of these pages from scratch in just a second. So let's go back to the account here and let's go to the profile tab. So none of this is populated yet because I didn't, I just set this up. I don't have any customers coming in yet, but you can see here, there's, there's everything that you need here. The customer list that you have, the, the post that you're making to your customer list and the analytics to look at your sales and, and everything that you need to know over time in your Gumroad account is here. Now I'm going to go to the profile tab here and I just kept this default. I'm not making it complicated. I'm keeping a default, but if, if you want to play around with this, you can go to style here. And you can see here, you can play around with the button color, right? Whatever you want to change it to, maybe red. You can also do background. You can change that to whatever you want, right? I like just keeping it simple and easy. Gumroad already knows what works. So I'm just going to keep it on whatever they had. I'm not going to save this because I don't want to change it. And you can actually, you know, change up the different text here. So. Um, all I have here is my name. I, I highly recommend that you upload a picture of yourself here so that people know who you are and, and what you do and then have your name. And then also what is your, your Gumroad store? What kind of products do you sell, right? Do you sell web development products or do you sell design products or marketing products, whatever you do, put it over here. So all I wrote here is products to help you create leveraged internet income. You can see here, here is my product. So this is kind of like your storefront. Once customers find you, they find your profile. You can see here, gumroad.com slash Sean Anthony. If I have multiple different products here, this acts like my own e-commerce store, right? For courses or whatever I'm selling. And they can pick for whatever, whatever products are here. They can click on it and buy whatever products I have in my store. So everything's in one place. Again, no website needed. This is kind of like your website storefront for digital products here in Gumroad. Now from there, you can upload your, your profile picture here. You can see you can connect different platforms like Facebook or Twitter if you want to do that. And then also, I don't really know what this is. Um, I haven't played around with this, but I'm, I don't know. I'm, it's not important to me right now. And then also we have products you can sort based on most reviewed or the highest cost or whatever it is. And your, your customer can sort by this as well. Uh, but this is the profile page, right? So very pretty simple. All you're going to really focus on is you're gonna upload your products first and it's gonna show over here. And then you want your profile picture, your, your first and last name, and then also a description of the types of products that you create. And this is automatically gonna be here as well for if anyone wants to stay up to date on any of your new products, they can enter their email address in here, right? So pretty cool stuff, uh, pretty basic, but everything that you need in one place. Now, next I'm gonna to go to settings and show you around here. Um, so I'm going to walk through these different, these different tabs here and what you need. I have a username. This is the name of your store. That's going to show in your URL, my email, your time zone, and pick your, your currency. I'm in the U S so I picked U S dollars, but wherever you are, pick your currency of what you're going to collect sales in. And then also I have my, my billing card for when, when I, I get a sale, it goes through this card. This is where they charge me. So you'd put your card in here, obviously. And then also I want to talk about this tab here. So Gumroad has something called Discover. And what Discover is, they have a marketplace of all their different courses. And if you turn this on, right, which I highly recommend you do turn this on, it's going to show your product in the marketplace and, and basically give you free sales, right? So they're going to show your product. Let's say, so my category is education, but let's say you're in any of these different categories here. When you go to Gumroad Discover, you can click into one of these categories. And if your course is selling well, they're going to show it in one of these Discover pages in these categories here. I think they take an extra 15% fee whenever there's a sale through Discover, but you didn't do any work promoting it anyway. So totally fine, right? So they put it in their marketplace. They promote the course for you. And if they get any sales, there's an extra 15% or so um, cut from that that goes to Gumroad. So it's kind of like affiliate marketing if you think about it. 
So that is the settings page. The next is the payout page. I don't wanna click on this because it has all my banking and billing information in here, but you're basically gonna go in here uh, to this payout tab and you're gonna fill out your information for your business and your bank accounts, okay? So pretty straightforward, payments. You can, co you can connect the PayPal account if you want. If not, it's just gonna collect, uh, Gumroad's just gonna collect it based on debit or credit card. But if you wanna connect a PayPal account, which I probably should do that here, you can do that using this button. Next is the applications tab. And uh, it looks like I need to upgrade my account to use these applications. So I don't know what's going on here. I guess you can't use it on the free account, but you really don't need anything to connect it because everything's in Gumroad. So um, probably have to upgrade for that. Password is your password, obviously. And then the advanced tab is if you're gonna, if you upgrade to the next pro account or the premium account, you can add your own custom domain. Instead of saying gumroad.com, it would say your domain. But you can add your Google Analytics for tracking. And also if you're doing Facebook advertising, you can add that here or any of the other platforms, you can add that custom code here to track your different sales and your different purchase events. Um, so the, all this, you can just poke around this account for free. Again, you can set this up, no cost required. There's no free trial either. It's just pay as you go. Poke around here, see what's going on. I've spent probably 10 seconds in here on this page before this. So not very important. I wanna direct your attention to the main page here. And that is your products tab, okay? So this is the product that I showed you earlier, the super fast sales email challenge. Again, where is the live page? You can see here, everything that you need to sell a product is here directly on Gumroad. So let's walk through creating a product right now. So I'm gonna click new product and there's different options here. You can start selling today, which is the option that I picked, the classic edition or classic version. And that just means as soon as you open it up, people can start buying it. There's a pre-order edition. So if you have a certain release date in the future and you wanna promote it first, you can have a pre-order sale and you would select that. You can also do a membership. So if you're charging $10 a month or $20 a month or whatever it is, you can create a membership. And you can even, if you're selling a service, you can sell your service through this platform as well using this membership or, or a classic, whatever you're using. So anything that you want to sell online, it's gonna fall into one of these buckets here. I'm just gonna select classic to make this easy. And I'm just gonna do test product, okay? And you can pick whatever you want. I'll do $1. Um, you can see here, there's an option for physical goods. So if you're selling physical products, you can click this on. And I think it will add different fields for you to collect like billing or shipping info or any information that you need for physical products. So I'm gonna turn this off because we're selling digital products here. I'm gonna go to customize. And this, it's cool because it shows you live what it looks like. And when you're typing in here, right, it's gonna show you live in this editor here, what it's gonna look like on the page. So let's walk through the different areas here. So test product that shows in the bold letters over here, it shows your name to, if they click on it, it goes to your store. What you can do here, um, let's just do headline, right? And you can, you can select this and you can change the size, right? So if you wanna do a big headline, you can do that. And let's just say that you wanna do some features, right? So we can do feature one. And this little dot here will give you the bullet feature. Okay, so we can do that a few times, right? And you can write all your sales copy in here. So headline, there's regular text, there's bullets. Again, it's not fancy, but this is really all you need. Bold, italicize, underline, however you wanna design it. Everything that you need is in here. The other thing is if you want to add, like, let's say that you have a video from YouTube or you have a video sales letter that actually talks about your product or a demo, you can add that directly here, right? So you can add an image if you want from your computer, or you can click on this YouTube button and you can see you can post a link to your YouTube or Vimeo or Facebook or Instagram video, and it's going to embed directly into this page here. And the person can play it directly in this page, which is a pretty cool feature. So that's pretty much it for the description page. If I jump over to my live product here, you can see I'm just using all the features directly in the description box. There's headers, there's text, there are bold and italicized words here. 
We also have bullets. We have at the bottom of here, we have images of student stories and success. So you can add everything that you really need in here. And of course you can add the videos as well if you have a video sales letter or a demo of your product. Um, so there's nothing much else here in this description. Um, let's just play around with this. <laughs> Buy my product, bro. And let's make it look pretty. There we go. Okay, so very convincing. And let's walk through the rest of these features here. So there's a cover photo. I'm not gonna add this because I don't wanna dig through my files and find another cover photo, but uh, this is what it looks like, right? So this I made or I sent over to somebody on Fiverr to create for me. I believe it was about 10 bucks. And if you wanna just create this in Canva, you can do that as well. Or any cover photo that you're gonna use, this is where it's gonna appear. You just download it to your computer and you upload it here. You can also use this feature. I haven't used this, but you can embed it from an external website. So uh, I think if you have like a separate website that you're using where your photos are already stored, you can post that into here and it'll grab those photos for you. And then you can pick which one to put over here in this cover photo section. Okay, so pretty straightforward. The call to action, you have three different options. I don't know why they don't have like a custom field here, but this is totally fine. I want this, buy this or pay. I just stick with, I want this. I think this is probably the best one because it shows some excitement. Um, so we want people to be excited when they get our product. So use whatever you want. If you wanna use what I'm gonna use, use I want this. And I wonder if maybe Gumroad is adding a feature here in the future to have some custom text, uh, but not a big deal. Let's go to the summary section. So the summary section is, you can see on the right here, you're basically just telling people what they're gonna get. So there's a few ways that you can do this. You can keep it simple and just say something like you will get um, videos plus email lessons, right? And you can put the time limit here, three hours total maybe if you have videos. You can do something like um, video one and then you can write the time of how long it is, right? Video two. say three minutes. Um, you can say stuff like 27 videos, uh, 10 hours total or whatever. Okay, so this is flexible. And all you're really doing here, I don't know what I did on my product page. I just put video and daily lessons and then it shows you like the size and the length. I think this is automatic because I didn't type this in. But you can use this however you want and just explain what's actually in the product so people know like the different features and details of what they're getting here. Okay, so you can do however you want with this. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it here for example's sake. Let's move on. So the content, these are the actual files of your digital product. So if it is a course or a PDF or an ebook, you're gonna upload that here. If it has videos, you're gonna upload all the individual files here. And if it's something like a service or a coaching, then you might just upload a PDF document that says click here to book your actual coaching call, okay? So you need to upload something in here because I don't think it's gonna let you publish the product until you do that. But this, all it is, is your actual product itself. So PDFs, videos, um, whatever it is, the form of your product, this is where you're gonna upload it here. You can also send people to a different URL after they purchase. So if you want them to book a call after they purchase, you can actually send them there after this, right? You can do that. Um, oh, there we go. So if you if you don't, if you have a coaching or a service and you're directing them to a page to book a call with you, like an onboarding, then you can use this option here, redirect to a URL after purchase. And then you can have this be your calendar link, your Calendly, Acuity, whatever you're using. Okay, so this is all this is, is the content of your actual product itself. Now this area here, the settings section, generate a unique license key per sale. This is really only relevant if you're selling a SaaS or a software product. And what this does is it gives every customer a unique license key so that you know that people aren't just sharing the software everywhere. Everyone has a specific key that they're using in order to access that, uh, your software product. Okay, so if you're not selling software, don't worry about this here and just use this content file section. Moving on, the pricing section. Okay, so this, um, this should say whatever your pricing is for your product. So let's just do, um, let's just copy what I did here, right? 
Now this can be a bit confusing because um, you can see here, if I put pricing here on the right, it's not really showing you the actual price. Um, so what I like to do is I just have the pricing here, but I add, um, if I'm doing multiple different packages, oh, there it is, $29. So if you only have one package, you can use this option here, right? This option of the pricing and amount. And when they click this, they're gonna get this pricing option. If you have multiple different packages, like let's just say that you have, um, let's say base, right? And let's just say there's no additional cost, that's the $29. But let's just say that you also have a pro, and that's gonna be $10 more than the last one. And then you also have an ultra package or something, right? Which is another $10 more. So you can see here, now we can select these three different packages. So there's the base package at $29, there's the $39 pro package, and 30, uh, this should say $20 more. $49 ultra package, okay? So if you are creating multiple different packages, in addition to this $29 one, you wanna create a base package that says $0 here. So you can see here, $29 base package, and you can add whatever description you want. Um, pro, you know, base plus pro features or whatever. And then we can do base plus pro plus ultra features, right? Whatever you wanna type in here that describes your product. Let me see what I wrote here. Um, get the super fast sales email challenge plus the over the shoulder videos plus the super fast sequences course. Um, so you're just telling people what they're gonna get as part of each of these packages. And you can see here, this kind of sac this kind of makes up for the no cross selling and upsell and sales funnel feature. You have these different packages here that people can buy. All right, so this is how you actually set the pricing. I wanna show you one more feature here. So if I go here, I'm gonna remove all these packages. Let's just say that you want to have a free product and you wanna build your list. This is a pretty cool feature here. And I'm gonna talk more about this in the next week's video about how you can use Gumroad to build an email list and actually get paid sometimes to build an email list. And if you click this button here, you can see allow customers to pay what they want. So you can see here, $0, but if a customer, uh, there's a platform called Patreon, you might've heard of it before, where you can actually pay creators and donate money to them for creating content. I, I see it pretty common on YouTube. But over here, you can make a suggested amount. There's some, there's some psychology going on there, right? Like, yeah, it's free, but maybe you should help me out a bit, right? Um, so the suggested amount, maybe we'll put like five bucks or something, okay? And you can see here on the right, they don't have to pay this, but if they want to give you some kind of fair price for the work that you're putting in, they can actually put that in right here, right? So if we have $5 here, it's gonna show up here and they don't have to actually pay you, but if they decide to, they can do that. If they wanna donate, you know, 20 bucks, 10 bucks for whatever you're creating. So that is a cool feature. I'll talk more about this next week. I'll do a more in-depth walkthrough on that, but that is pretty much it for the, for the product page here. And the only other thing is limiting product sales. Like if you have, a, this is mainly if you're selling like physical products or you only have a limited supply of a certain offer, you can type in how many purchases that you want before it closes out. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not ever gonna use that because I sell digital products unless I go into physical products again. And you can also allow customers to choose a quantity. I think this is also for uh, physical products if they wanna buy multiple of the same thing. So. This is it for the product page, right? You're going through, you're naming your product, you add a cover photo here, you write all your copy in here with your headlines and your bullets and your description. You can add pictures and videos, a cover photo here. Uh, you can choose your files directly from your, your computer or you can send it from a website that you have. Your call to action, your summary, which is what they're actually gonna get in the course or the product itself. And then you upload your content here you set your pricing, it could be pay whatever you want, or you can actually set up packages. So that's it for the product page. I'm gonna walk you through the checkout page now and show you the different features on here. So I haven't played around with this too much, but it's pretty straightforward, like most of the tabs here in Gumroad. Uh, over here is a discount code. So let's say you're doing an early bird price or you're doing like an early bird sale or a pre-sale. Um, you can actually, let's say you wanna do 50 people, get 20% off, right? You put the quantity in here, 
you can say how much you want to take off. I just put a dollar here just for example, and then you name the discount code, right? So 50 off or whatever it is. 50 off my super fast sales email. Actually, no, that's too long. So we'll just keep it 50 off. Once someone buys and uses this code, once this hits 50, it'll automatically turn off that discount code, right? So if you want to do like a, a sale for the first 50 members or 100 members, whatever it is, you can use this discount code for that. If you want to add or you have evergreen discount codes where you give it out to some people who maybe purchase multiple products from you, you can turn on this feature here, add discount code field to purchase form. Right, you can see here, pops up here. Now this payment form, um, you can also add this to all your products if you want at the same time, if you have multiple products. Payment form, I'm not really sure what this is. The full name field will be shown when, when it will increase conversion. I think this just means that on the form here, it's gonna show their full name above this email address, right? So I haven't played with this. I kept it on this option here. I think this is fine to use. Now, if you, if you check that option for selling physical products, I think it's gonna tell you more fields here, like their shipping address and where to actually send the product. Um, so over here, you can also add additional fields. So required or optional, let's just say that you want to know their business name, right? You can see here on the right, it shows the business optional. So if you wanna have any optional fields, you can add them here. Uh, but yeah, not too complicated. I'm mainly just gonna leave it how it is. So I'm just gonna take this off and I'm just gonna use whatever they have as a default here. I'm gonna just delete this discount as well. Uh, the receipts, I don't know if it's gonna show live here. Yeah, it's not showing live here, but this is just what it says on your receipt, right? So you can just thank your customer for buying and thank them for purchasing your specific product here, okay? So once you're done with all this, you're gonna, of course, click save. You can also name your product here. So if I go back to mine, you can see super fast sales email in the, in the URL here. So you're gonna name whatever you want it to be, right? So test product, whatever you want it to be named. You save changes. And then from there, you're ready to share your product. So I have to, I'm just making me save it here. Okay. Uh, publish. Okay, it's not letting me publish here because I gotta upload some files here. Um, I don't wanna go through my files right now and do that, it's pretty messy on my desktop. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just go and show you my super fast sales email, fast sales email here. I go to share, this is a public product. You can see here, you can share it on social platforms. Uh, what I like to do is just copy this link here, right? And you can just paste it in, boom, here we go. Direct link to this page. So you can post this on Twitter or Facebook or YouTube, Instagram, wherever you're selling your product. And it's as simple as that, right? Grabbing that link and putting it there. Now, if you, if you have a website that you want to embed your product on, or you want to have like a button like this, you can see here, it says buy my product. You can use this overlay feature, right? So if you know, buy now, bro, <laughs> um, you can click one of these options here. I don't know what this is. Allow single product purchases only. Auto trigger the payment form. Okay, so I think this means that if you click this, uh, I'm gonna unclick this. If we have multiple packages, I think that just means that they it'll give them the option to pick their package here. Uh, but this, when they click on this, it'll pull up the payment form and the person, if you are if you have this on a website, the person can pay for it on the website and they can get the, the product fulfilled directly on your website. Uh, you can also embed it. So if you want this entire sales form embedded on your website on a certain page, you can go to this embed feature and you can also copy this code, paste it into your website if you have a separate website and this will be embedded directly into that page, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm not gonna direct it anywhere. I'm just gonna use this link and I'm just gonna direct people directly to that Gumroad link. I'm gonna put it into my Twitter bio. I'm gonna put it into my email uh, signature. And whenever someone wants to check out my products, they're gonna be brought to my store and they can buy any one of my products there, okay? So that is it for the Gumroad walkthrough. We went through setting up your profile, uploading a product, creating your, your page here, and the features of creating the different packages on your page. So that is pretty much it for my walkthrough and review of Gumroad. My personal review of it is, I think it's a 10 out of 10. If you are looking for a simple, easy, all-in-one platform to sell digital products or even physical products online with no cost to get started, actually, 
Gumroad is gonna be your best bet. And as you can see, there is no website required, no coding required, nothing complicated. You can set up your product in a few minutes and be selling within a few minutes after that if you already have an audience. So if you're looking for something that is super simple and basic to get started, but will do the job and start selling your digital products and physical products online, check out gumroad.com, set up your account, go through this tutorial, the step-by-step -step walkthrough and set up and upload your first product and you could be selling your first product within the next day, okay? So in the next video, we're gonna talk about how I'm gonna use Gumroad to build my email list and grow my email list and how you can start building your email list as well using this platform and even get paid for it potentially um, using some of the features on Gumroad. So stay tuned for the next video. If you guys got value out of this, give me a like, comment below what was your number one takeaway and if you're gonna start using Gumroad to sell your digital products online and I will see you in the next video.